What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So, man, oh man, this was a this was a weird women's 100 meter final. Uh, the Jamaicans just had all the bad luck. Uh, Shelly and Fraser Price got injured. Uh, maybe she took herself out. Uh, but uh, either way, she took herself out of the event, so she wasn't in there. So everybody was like, "Oh man, what is this?" And then Elaine Thompson, hurrah! made a very rare felt false start in her career. You just do not see Elaine Thompson Hurrah make this mistake of a false start. So she had to leave. She got disqualified. And the only Jamaican left was Sharika Jackson. And even with those two out, because those was probably her main competition outside of Aaliyah Hobbs, she still lost to Aaliyah Hobbs, who won this. So let me go over the scores for y'all. So the Americans won the 100 meters. This is the first time in a while, because Shelly and Frazier been on a, like a little roll here. Um, winning these uh, bouts, and obviously, I think uh, I think Elaine Thompson Hurrah won at the Prefontaine Classic earlier the year. So it hasn't been much when the Americans have had to go against the Jamaicans of winning the 100 meters. So Aaliyah Hobbs definitely salute to her. She got a time of 10.87, but it was very close at the top, very close. Sharika Jackson was right behind. It wasn't like Sharika Jackson did bad. She just did finish in first. She had a 10.88. Uh, and Marie Josie Talou, who's the actual World Cup qualifying leader, we'll take a look at that after I go over the scores. But she had a 10.89. Tamari Davis, who has had a great rookie season as a pro, uh, finished under 11 flat, 10.94. Everybody else was over 11 flat. TT Terry's uh, steam from the relays is completely gone now. She finished in fifth, but she did finish in the top five with 11.13, beating out Majinga Kambunji, who was at home. She won. Um, the relay race uh, later in the night, the 4x100. Um, I might go over that because uh, I don't see a lot of people covering that event. I might actually do that. Um, so definitely check that out a little later. And Nikita Cito came in last with 11.41. She's from the Netherlands. So back to the world qualification standards. We're going to wrap this up. So at the top right now is to, uh, Marie Josie Talou. She had the most points coming in with 28 points, but Sharika Jackson has caught up. She has 27, and so far we got five qualifiers. Shelly Ann Frazier Price with 16, Elaine Thompson Rob with 16, and Daryl uh, Daryl Nader with 16 as well. We'll find out the rest of the field. Aaliyah Hobbs with this win is in great position to qualify. We'll definitely know um, by the end of the Brussels event who else is qualified. Dina Asher Smith is in position with 13, and looks like T.T. Terry might end up making it because she's got 12, and everybody else is going to be, unfortunately, going to be out, so we might not see Tamari Davis, who had a really good race in this one. But uh, salute to Aaliyah Hobbs, man, because the way she won this race, she kind of leaned in and got over it, and this was up her speed because nobody really ran below a 10.80. So this is really, to me, she's been in like that 10.80, 10.90 category all year. So if you keep the time between there, there's a good chance that Aaliyah Hobbs is going to finish in the top three, if not at the top. So that's what this one looks like. And, uh, you know, we know that this is Sharika Jackson's main event, but, you know, I did think she was going to win with the other two Jamaicans out. So that was very surprising. Marie Josie Talou is someone that you cannot sleep on. Um, she she's always a player who could definitely show up. I can't wait to see what she does in the championship. So, go on here to get this video a like, y'all. Hit that like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Um, if you got any comments, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. I much appreciate it. Shout out to my boy David Close who uh, gave the ten dollar two ten dollar donos um, on this channel. He is the leader uh, with twenty bucks donated to the channel uh, also you can send money to and any money you send to the cash app will also count in the leaderboard that i'm going to set up uh so you guys can see who the top donate uh, donators are for the track and field videos on this channel uh dollar sign sack exchange you can see that on the screen but the wrap this up yeah leah hobbs definitely showed up to play and you know this is a great moment for her you know this is something that could give her confidence, like, look, when Shelly and Elaine Thompson are back out here, maybe I can beat them. Because you know what? You know what's crazy? Uh, everybody says Abby Steiner stole, or Abby Steiner stole the the height from Shakari Richardson. I'm like, uh, kind of under the radar, Leah Hobbs has, because she is more connected to Abby Steiner, because she's in the, actually in the 100-meter event, whereas more Abby Steiner is more a 200-meter. And 
since he beat her at the Grand Prix in New York back in June, ever since Leah Hobbs did that, she's been on a surge of rising up. And it does make you want to think how that 4x100 relay goes if Aaliyah Hobbs was in it. Would they have still won? You know, but Aaliyah Hobbs, she's in a prime. She's 26 years old, going to be 27 next season. She is she is becoming a threat, man. So you definitely got to keep an eye on her. Thank y'all for watching. After news, the light.